we're getting our first look inside the Michigan Museum of Horror. It recently acquired one of only two vials containing Charles Manson's cremated remains. CBS News Detroit's photojournalist Aaron Bryant took more on this rare piece of true crime history. <laughs> This is the Michigan Museum of Horror. Um, you know, we've been open for about two years now. And we've curated a kind of weird and uh, wacky, unique um, collection here. We have uh, human skeletons. He's resting up nice. So there's definitely a lot of unique pieces on this wall. It contains three uh, big Richard Ramirez, uh, the Night Stalker pieces. The most unusual thing is Charles Manson himself. So we have Charles Manson's actual cremated remains. This is actually one of two vials that still exist. So there's another vial like this that exists. You can actually still see little pieces of bone fragment amongst the ash. So this is Charles Manson himself. This is his cremated remains. It's what brought me in today. Really? It is. So you have great taste. Uh, yeah. I think it's pretty crazy. I, my, uh, my mom always told me about Charles Manson growing up. At least 65 on display. Yeah, my goal is to really cover this whole whole wall and then maybe expand onto the other walls here. There's just so many cool Ouija boards. Anything Charles Manson related is definitely super rare uh, to come by, especially in this day and age. I mean, you'll, you'll get a lot of his letters and pictures that he sent towards the end of his life, but um, to get a piece like this, um, something that is, you know, literally a, a part of him, a part of his DNA, it's his bones and his cremated remains in this vial. Even though it's a small little, little vial, I think, um, you know, people that are into true crime and they're into um, serial killers, I think that they're gonna see, see this piece and go, wow, you know, we really haven't seen anything like this in our entire lives. For how cheap admission is into the museum, why not go take a, you know, a Saturday down there, or a Friday down there. So I think there's a little something for everybody and I hope that this piece um, brings in new faces.